How you doing, everybody? Slim here. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've done a response to Neil, the hippie seed company guy, Neil. You'll see the, you'll see what this video is a response to. I'll leave that as a title. <sighs> doing something special. It's a response slash dedication video. You know. <laughs> I actually do like what you do. Just I do I. I actually like what you do, despite um, my my video a few months back where I, you know, bust your balls a little bit. It's all in fun, though. But anyway, I've just I've decided if I'm going to do a dedication, you, I got to do it the right way. Now, there's rules to this, though. I've come up with some rules for this. Anything that would be considered hot, if I'm going to do something like this, has to be a habanero or above. Now, I don't have any exotic hot sauces at hand here. I do have my favorite kind of Tabasco sauce, though. And yes, the hottest Tabasco there is thus far. Habanero. It says it right there. I don't know if you can read that. This is high def. You could, but it... Yeah, get a little closer there. Get up a little bit. It says right there in red words, habanero. So the ingredients first. Got to read the ingredients. Distilled vinegar. Adds a little soupiness to it. Habanero pepper. Oh yeah. Cane sugar. I never noticed any sweetness to this thing. Tabasco pepper sauce. The regular um, recipe. They mix that in there with it. Which concludes distilled vinegar, red pepper, salt. Okay, salt, mango puree. Yeah, they have a little fruitiness to this. Dehydrated onion. Banana puree. Tomato paste, tamar, tamarind, tamarind puree, papaya puree, spices, garlic, Tabasco pepper mash, which is aged pepper and salt. Shake well, of course. I think it's well mixed. What do you think? I always tie these. I always twist these lids tight. You know, make sure nothing comes out. Of course, it smells good. So, what I'm going to do now. Right here. Got to note the aroma. I do like to follow rules. And that's a big spoon here, of course. Right over the, the napkin. Right about there. And then start dropping it in there. It's a little hard to come out. But it, it works. It's coming out. A little kind of thick. I like tomato puree like it says. There, that about does it. Try to turn this around without spilling any out of it. There we go, Neil. My dedication to you, my friend. Swish it around a bit. Now the tomato puree, tomato puree does taste like tomato juice. But you kind of taste the fruits in it, but the habanero pepper really kicks like boom. Nice and spicy too. <laughs> oh man, I love doing this. Perhaps you've seen my, my old video where I try to habanero pepper itself, the habanero chili, burned like a motherfucker. Pardon my French, but I do cuss a lot. Burned like hell. <laughs> Spicy tomato sauce, that's what they're, tastes like, like the V8 juice, you know, the mixed vegetable juice, which V8 has more tomato taste than anything else. Tastes like V8 with habanero. I'm gonna invent that. Habanero tomato juice. You drink the tomato juice, you know, like you drink any regular tomato juice. But it's got that habanero hint to it. Pretty damn hot. <laughs> love it. Gotta love this stuff. My dedication to you, pal. Oh, plenty in there. I think I can fit 
not a spoonful. <sighs> Gotta be tough about this. Yeah, to get that in nice and good. Right over napkin. I got a napkin here. It's a Mac computer desk. And just for you, Neil, another one. Push it around. Put it all spread out. <sighs> oh, I love the smell. Like I said, you don't really, you have to taste a little bit of sweetness. You have the small hint of the fruit, but you can smell the fruit in there. Smells pretty damn good. But, it has a kick to it. it. Has a fucking boom kick right in the ass. Or, you know, kick in the mouth. <laughs> oh, I haven't done anything hot in a while like this. Have me a drink of tea. Sorry. <sighs> Calmed it down a little bit. That was pretty damn good. Peace out, Neil. Peace out. And yeah. Stay hot, bro. Stay hot. Peace.